Welcome to The Rich Report, a podcast with news and information on high-performance computing. Today, my guest is from ScaleMP. We have the CEO of the company, Shai Foldheim. Welcome to the show, Shai. Hey, Rich. Pleased to be here again. Yeah. Well, welcome back, Shai. You know, it, it's been a while since we talked. I thought, uh, you know, there was some news this morning, in fact. So I, I wanted to ask you, what's new at ScaleMP? Oh, lots of uh, new things are going on. You know, we are, we are very close to releasing our next generation product. It's called VSMP Foundation version 5.5. That brings to market um, uh, three things that are uh, really important. We worked on that with customers over the last year. First, it's um, allowing customers to have more hardware support. One of the common um, uh, issues uh, out there when you work with virtual machines is that virtual machines limited in the amount of I.O. it can support. Uh, different. There is always hardware compatibility list. You'll find that with ScaleMP. You'll find that with VMware. You'll find that with KVM. You'll find it with others. So we worked over the last year on a new subsystem called AnyIO that allow customer to plug any I.O. device into virtual machine, and that includes any 10 gig Ethernet card. It includes any InfiniBand card. It includes uh, um, PCI flash devices such as Fusion I.O., GPUs, the Xeon Phi, NVIDIA, and so on. So now you can create large-scale VM and plug in any I.O. device that they uh, physically allow to be plugged into the machines that you're using. So that's one thing. It's, it's really important. Um, second thing that we have done on the CPU side is um, you probably read the news over the last few days with Intel launch of um, Ivy Bridge, the E7 processors. So VSMP now fully supporting the E5 and the E7 processors, uh, the new generations of, um, of Intel. We already have some deployment with them in the field. That's really great because there are some features for virtualization in CPUs that improve performance of the, um, of the product you get. So that's what we have done on the, on the hardware side. The two other interesting uh, stuff that we have done is, um, of course, continued investment in overall performance. We see large memory as a big um, trend from bioinformatics to legacy databases, everything in the middle. People call that big data from time to time. You've probably heard this term. Um, make sure that these uh, large memory and sometimes IO intensive works works as fast as possible. Um, we have some interesting cases that, believe it or not, we now prove that the uh, Virtual machines are faster than physical machines because of the different tricks you can do around memory and I/O utilizations in virtual machines. So that's the second aspect: better performance for large memory and high and I/O intensive workloads. The third one, which will probably make um, quite a bit of uh, your audience happy, is new and flexible pricing model, um, allowing um, lower um, entry point for the software on one end easier migration of licenses between generations. You know, we have customers that run VSMP now since 2005. Yeah. Right. So between 2005 and now, you know, the industry changed. Uh, lots of different CPUs, different vendors, the, um, the amount of memory per socket changed, the, the type of interconnect devices, everything is changing. And the idea of what customers are looking on VSMP, they... CVSMP is the shared memory infrastructure or the large memory infrastructure for their clusters or their data centers. And they want the same license that they bought in 2005 to last till today. And that is, um, is great if you think about it. Um, you buy it once and you use it and you change the hardware from time to time and you keep the shared memory capability. So we had to adapt the pricing model in such that you can change the underlying equipment and, uh, and keep the licensing going and going and going. And we did that, um, and um, um, let me show you later. I can show you some, some stuff we've done around the pricing that we now put publicly on the net, and you can go and configure the software for yourself. It's so easy that everyone can do it. Yeah, yeah. So, so when, Shai, can we expect to be able to download version 5.5? So we have uh, five to ten customers right now running in 5.5. We always believe in uh, what we're calling soft rollout. Yeah. So we start with one customer, then two customers. I'm expecting that to be on our website before the end of the quarter. So if you go to scalemp.com slash download, yeah. uh, you will be able to go there and download the VSMP Foundation 5.5. What you can see there right now is the 5.1 versions. 
and the 5.5 and the uh, I'm 5.5 would have a a, a, a great interest, I'm sure. Yeah. So while we're talking about downloads, Shai, uh, you know, we've talked about the the free version, BSMP Foundation Free. Uh, can you give me an update on that? I mean, this is a, a you know, is it free for anyone to try out? Is that the idea? Yes. That 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 that's exactly that's exactly what uh, what it is. Um, we announced BSMP Foundation Free, I think, uh, like nine months ago. Uh, we see a growing um, a growing install base. Of uh, VSMP Foundation Free, I would say that today um, about the, it's grew so fast. Uh, you're talking about hundreds of nodes running yeah. VSMP Foundation Free out there. So very soon, half of our install base will become VSMP Foundation Free. It's going so fast. We are starting a soon an um, interesting um, campaign around VSMP Foundation Free. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, VSMP Foundation Free allow customers to take any nodes that they have in their clusters, uh, connect up to eight of them to create a one terabyte uh, machine. Very, very popular in um, the bioinformatics space yeah. and in the extreme I/O space, like um, the um, the uh, mechanical workloads that require lots of I/O. Now you can do that on memory. Memory is always faster than you know any disk. The best I/O subsystem is not to have one at all, right? Sure. So we're starting this campaign for um, customers loading uh, VSMP Foundation Free. We will um, get you a $5 Starbucks card uh, when you <laughs> install, and, and install and get the system running. And the idea is, okay, um, the idea is the, to try to see, okay, yeah. what, will, uh, what will be faster, installing, getting your VSMP Foundation up and running, or, you know, getting your latte at Starbucks. That's the... That's, that's the <laughs> That's the merit behind it, and you will see that they're going on live in, in the next few days. Well, this is very timely, and nothing like a good cup of coffee there. But uh, I, I tell you, Shai, uh, you know, in my big data writings, everything I'm reading is about real time, and in memory analytics. So this sounds very timely indeed. Yeah. Um, interestingly enough, um, Scale MP is not um, all about HPC anymore. Yeah. Um, in the last. Um, a year, we are seeing more and more customers run, um, call it the legacy databases that used today for analytics, anything from uh, uh, Oracle yep. um, all the way down to SAP HANA. And I'm talking about the really, really large machines. Mm-hmm. And customers are very happy. What's interesting about these workloads, and again, the world is divided between the distributed workloads like Hadoop to the legacy stuff. What's interesting about the legacy stuff, the applications do not need lots of CPU power. Yeah. It's all about uh, give me memory, and uh, if you can, give me more than that. Mm-hmm. So what we do with VSMP, we can architect these machines that have 10, 20, 30, 40 terabytes of memory. Yeah. And um, with the core density that you get today with um, Intel, just saw their latest announcement, 60 cores per four socket systems. Um, 120 cores for eight socket systems and hyper threading and lots of PCI Express channels to get to that memory over InfiniBand, where the way we connect to other systems, you get absolutely amazing performance. It's uh, we have seen cases that we beat um, standard equipment that just uses uh, flash and disks by 10x faster analytics. So when you talk about real time, it's you know how much real is the real time. So we get there, we get there, and um, it's it's great. You know, we started this company focused on HPC, and now it's growing into other areas. Absolutely. So, so while we're talking about that, Shai, do you have some recent wins that you can share with us? Uh, sure. Um, um, I, w- I would comment that there are two areas where we see a great um, a great push. Okay. Um, if uh, last year was a little bit weak, the first half or the first three quarter of the year with the government, we see um, in the U.S. Uh, government, uh, you know, sequestration and all that uh, situation. We see a pickup in business with uh, with the government uh, too. That can um, come to mind uh, a recent win that we have in the Navy Research Lab (NRL) and um, another one that um, I can think of in the NIH. Um, is another one. So that's one area. So we see more and more government deals um, um, coming from our partners, and that's great. It's a, it's a strong signal that something is changing in the U.S., and we should all we be very happy about it. On the other, on, on the other side, um, I would say internationally, 
we have a very, very strong momentum in Asia Pacific, specifically if I'll talk about Japan, we have like a series of win, wins in the last uh, few months from the um, uh, Technical Research and uh, Development Institute, that's the DOD, the uh, Japanese DOD, uh, Center of uh, Genomic Medicine in Kyoto University, Institute of Statistical uh, Mathematics, um, a significant win at the National Research um, Institute for Earth Sciences, um, um, Earthquake Research Institute. Uh, the list is the <laughs> the list is not is not an ending list. So I would say that um, um, we see this in these two areas in, uh, in Asia Pacific, specifically Japan, and in the uh, U.S. government, the two growing trends. Uh, you know, there are wins every day. So yeah, you don't have enough time to count all of them here. <laughs> Well, along those lines, Shai, you know, you've got the tier ones are now distributing your software. You got IBM, HP, Dell, and Cray are all distributing Scale MP software. But uh, do you have anything new on the partner front? Um, we we just announced um, a partnership with Boston uh, for uh, AMD based appliance. Um, one thing that changed for us last year is uh, more and more customers like to buy a ready-made configuration. So if you go to our website, scalemp.com slash uh, um, uh, appliances, what you can see there is uh, you can see a ready-made configuration from Cray going up to a couple of hundreds of cores or a configuration that goes to 8 terabytes of memory that you can just um, order and get. Um, mm -hmm. No need for special configuration. So what we announced now with Boston um, is um, due, based on similar model, the largest AMD system on Earth. It's an AMD system that um, you get it pre-configured, pre-built, 64 cores, 8 terabytes of memory, super affordable. You can find the pricing for it mm -hmm. on our website uh, if you open your browser and go to scalemp.com slash uh, appliances. Yeah. Um, um, you'll see there the uh, Boston link will come up and um, in the Boston page itself, you can see the configuration and pricing. And um, you're talking about the eight terabyte system for less than 200k. That's uh, that's substantial. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Especially in light of you know you mentioned Intel's announcement this week, and I've got to think that that box they were talking about is gets into uh, big numbers uh, in comparison to what uh, what you're talking about here with the Opteron based system. Mm -hmm. Correct. That's correct. So yeah. you talk about the if you're looking on integer workloads, um, about the same number of cores. Yeah. Uh, Intel four socket machine is 60 cores. This is 64 cores, uh, plus minus the same. The new Intel boxes goes up to three terabytes with the um, a 32 gigabyte DIMMs or six terabytes with the 64 gigabyte DIMM that you know quite costly these days. These machines is um, you know reasonable cost. Memory goes to eight terabytes at less than 200k. Um, I don't think it's beatable otherwise. Yeah, yeah. Well, Shai, I mean, any closing thoughts? It seems like in memory is the buzz, as I mentioned before. What would you say? A, um, closing comment, you must try our configurator. Yeah, a, um, okay. A, um, open your browser, go to scalemp.com slash configurator. Again, um, this pricing model change that I mentioned, it's not just, you know, you change a part number and a price. It's the entire method around it, how easy it is to customer to configure that. So if you go to scalemp.com slash configurator, you may need to log in to our website to get there. Um, but you get um, something that is a pretty simple uh, page um, that um, you need to specify the amount of uh, memory and the type of CPU. So let me give you an example. Okay. Let's say that you already have a cluster. You have a cluster that you purchased and, um, and um, it works well for you, and you need some uh, large memory um, nodes to run, let's say, bioinformatics. So you download VSMP Foundation free, that's easy, scalemp.com slash um, free, download VSMP Foundation free, install it on four, five, six, eight nodes, get to the one terabyte, everything works nice and dandy, and guess what? People using that, they want to move to two terabytes. <laughs> you, go, you go to our website, scalemp.com slash configurator, yeah. uh, open the page and, and plug in. I need two processors. Let's say that the processors you have are 2560 uh, processor. That's a very common processor that we find. Um, um, uh, the 2650 processors are very common in, in clusters. Sure. Um, you plug in, I want two terabytes, and, um, and um, you say go. Uh, you click submit, and immediately you you get the pricing. It's cost you you know 
some $11,000 to get the software. And now you have a software that takes your existing equipment that already works for you with VSMP Foundation Free and you yep. jump it to two terabytes. The nice thing about that is that you can invest in this software once and keep it for all future generation equipment you have and even make the software go come and go on demand a couple of your job scheduler. For that, you need to go back to the configurator and change your software to be um, of uh, using VSMP Foundation Advanced Platform. It will add your cost, but on the other end, it's a one-time investment. Now that you did that, you keep the software running maybe for the next 10 years, change the equipment underneath that, and you always have your 2 terabyte system sure. there. So it's, it's great, it's simple, it's, move, it's uh, movable between different generations of equipment. It, and it's now very, very easy for users to go and configure it themselves. Yeah, yeah, and that sounds very powerful because these these labs are they're refreshing every three years or even in, in less than that. So, uh, uh, you know, helping those customers you know, with this flexible licensing, I think uh, that that sounds uh, pretty compelling. Mm -hmm. Well, Shai, uh, you know, I I want to thank you once again for uh, coming on the show today. And thank you for having me. You bet. Okay, folks, that's it for the Rich Report. Stay tuned for more news and information on high-performance computing.